California voters now have less than 12 hours to decide the political future of Governor Gavin Newsom. More than 8 million votes have already been cast in California's recall election. Today is the deadline for millions more to cast their ballots in person at voting centers or by mail. The ballot has two questions on it. The first, do you want to remove Governor Gavin Newsom from office? The second is, if Governor Newsom is voted out of office, who should replace him? And right now at noon, we are tracking the voting process in the largest counties in our area, Stanislaus County, San Joaquin County, and our most populous county, Sacramento County. And that's where we begin with KCRE3's Mike Tissell at the county election office. Mike? And we're outside the county election office, Lisa, because we've been following that that big pink box where you're dropping off the ballot's been quite busy this morning. Really interesting to see how popular this drive up drop off ballot box has been just like that driver right there and take a look. It wasn't after long after sunrise that we watched as election officials pulled the first bins of ballots out of this drop box. Meanwhile, right around 8 a.m. We went inside election headquarters to watch as the election workers began what is obviously going to be a long day of processing, sorting, opening ballots. Sacramento County officials say in this county, ballot returns are outpacing the returns of the 2018 governor's election. Not quite up on par with the presidential election, they say, which is not surprising. But with so many ballots expected to be returned throughout the day today via the mail and coming in in the next few days, they say it could be a week before every ballot is processed and counted. And yet, even with this strong turnout so far, an elections official told me this. Listen. There's still a lot of people that don't know that there's an election happening, despite the fact that it's all over the news. Um, people just don't expect things like this to happen in an off year. And so if they don't know that there's an election, then they're not going to vote. Hey, can you believe that? You know, I can believe it. I can believe it because there's just so much going on, you know, pandemic, worrying about our kids going to school. So there's so much going on. So it's, it's hard to keep track of things, you know. So as someone who is voting today, what would your message be to those who are just finding out that today's election day for the RICO? Get out and vote. So if that is you or you have a ballot and haven't filled it out or voted yet, there are three ways to get your vote counted in Sacramento County. If you already have a ballot, you can drop that ballot off in one of the 72 approved pink ballot boxes throughout the county, or you can simply place it in a U.S. Postal Service mailbox, but make sure it is postmarked by today. And if you don't yet have a ballot, aren't registered or just prefer to vote in person, there are 30 different voting centers available in the county, including here at the elections headquarters and back out here live. This again, another one of those people dropping off a ballot. Uh, one last thing I want to touch on is the issue of election security and the possibilities of fraud, because uh, elections officials here say that, of course, is a narrative they continue to hear. And they say they feel very strongly about their security measures to make sure this is a fair uh, and accurate election. In fact, they say that uh, they will have a live stream set up of the ballot counting room so that you can watch that whole process in real time live inside election headquarters as they count the ballots. That's a live stream that you can access by going to the Sacramento County Elections website. Live outside the Sacramento County Elections Headquarters, Mike Tissell, KCRA 3 News. I'm really glad you addressed that. Mike Tissell, thanks for the live report. We appreciate it. Now we want to move to our second biggest county, that's San Joaquin, where election workers were at their office before 5 o'clock this morning. After a low return of mail-in ballots, KCRA 3's Brian Hickey says officials are encouraged by today's early turnout. Outside the San Joaquin County Registrar Voters Office, they've made it very easy for voters to drop off their ballots. Oh, it was really great. Just simple and just drop it off and then go to work. After a low return of mail-in ballots leading up to Election Day, the county's registrar is encouraged by the early action this morning. Everything opened at 7 o'clock. We're starting to see a big uptick in voting. We're seeing, starting to see people at the polls. We're really excited today. The presidential election saw more than 80% of voters cast a ballot. As of yesterday, only 120 20,000 of the county's 365,000 voters returned a mail-in ballot. We always exercise our civil duties, you know, so we vote every election. And after a contentious race to the White House, the handling of the pandemic, economy and environment, early voters today said this recall is a sign of the times. Well, I think it's just symbolic of, uh, you know, the division that's going on in the country right now and all of the political unrest. 
it's just something that uh, we have to kind of rise to the occasion. Without divulging my uh, party, it was time, so I'm happy. A lot of people were frustrated with things happening in California. They took the action they could take and try to make enough noise as possible to let the government know that we didn't need something different. Erdman says his office is busy behind the scenes processing and counting the mail-in ballots for the first release of results at 8 p.m. when the polls close, but says it could take days or weeks to count the remaining mailed-in ballots. In Stockton, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News. San Joaquin County has 101 polling places. You can find a list searchable by address on the county elections webpage. And we now head to our third largest county, Stanislaus County, where there are 280,000 voters. An election official we talked to the, said that they are expecting a pretty good turnout today. And as Mike DeSalle told us, given the number of people voting by mail across California, the final turnout won't be known for some time. Vote by mail ballots have to be postmarked by today, but the state allows a week for them to get to the registrar office.